Welcome to the Healthy Paws vlog. I want you to think back to a time when you experienced pain. Now, because of the nature of pain, you would have remembered the physical sensation as well as the emotions that you felt when you experienced that physical pain. You may have also remembered the way that people responded to you because of the way that you behaved when you were experiencing pain. Animals are no different. As a veterinarian, when pet owners describe how their dog is slow to get up in the morning, is slow on their walks, maybe doesn't want to go down the stairs to the yard, or their cat isn't jumping like they used to, is meowing or purring more, isn't grooming, isn't using the litter box, these are potentially signs of pain. If they're not eating in the same way or interacting with your family in the same way, possibly signs of pain. Many loving owners often attribute these signs to their pet just getting old. This is not the case. Young animals experience pain, even arthritic pain, and getting old and pain do not have to go together. Why do we need to treat pain? Pain causes stress. Stress reduces immunity, which puts our pets at risk of illness and disease. This affects their quality of life and can cause significant behavioral changes, which put a strain on the human-animal bond. So we need to treat the physical aspects of pain and the behavioral consequences of pain. The medical and emotional wellness, including if you're in pain, uh, involved with all animals does affect their behavior and also their ability to learn. Often we find that uh, pain and medical issues will first present themselves in the way of behavior and behavior change with the animal. So as a dog behavior consultant, um, I always want to be sure that I'm directing um, clients to first see their veterinarian so that we can rule out different health issues and make sure that we're not starting a behavior rehabilitation program until we've taken all the medical side of things into account. So some of the things that we watch for and sort of flags um, that may indicate a medical issue um, and perhaps pain would be a change in the animal's demeanor, often uh, some aggression or maybe kind of grouchiness when people are coming near them, even their own caretakers, um, or if they try to touch a certain body, body part that might be um, uncomfortable for them or have pain. We'll see a rest, restlessness in them, um, perhaps an increase in their anxiety um, and their stress levels. Um, different than what they normally or usually are. At some point or another in an animal's life, they're going to have to have medical or grooming procedures, husbandry type procedures that are most likely gonna be scary for them or painful or maybe both. So um, here at the Cochrane and Area Humane Society, we offer a course called Cooperative Care Training where we are proactively building the tolerance level um, of those dogs and the comfort level for those types of pr procedures um, that would otherwise be potentially really unpleasant events for them. So we're looking at lowering the stress level of both the dog and the caretaker. 